Hey guys, Chi Chi here. Today I'll be giving you my perspective on the Aloe Soothing Sun Cream by Cosrx. I'm a huge fan of Korean sunscreens and to me they just work the best. And for some reason, I have no clue why I never picked this up prior to this, but it, it's pretty dope. I'm pleasantly surprised by how good I actually like this. But this is the Aloe Soothing Sun Cream SPF 50 PA++++. And honestly, I didn't give this a really fair chance in the beginning because I thought it was more so for dry skin, which it is. Uh, it is very moisturizing, but I kinda like it though. <laughs> it's so funny that I really do like it. But it, star ingredient is aloe. I'm not one of the reviewers who can break down all of the you know ingredients but I do know aloe is the key ingredient to this. So this is how it looks when you squeeze it out and for around 15 to 20 dollars depending on where you purchase it you'll get 50 mls worth of product which is a decent size of product to get. Now, what initially scared me was it's a white cream, so I was very nervous about, you know, just that, this. <laughs> I was worried about just having that, you know, the, the white cast or purple people eater cast. And you do get a very, very tiny cast, but it does go away. You you can see that purple sheen that is on my skin, but it it goes away. So this is, I believe, a hybrid SPF. So it is physical and chemical SPF ingredients all up in here. I do like a mixture of the physical and chemical SPF properties. You know, because I feel like it just covers everything. So if you have your UVA protection and your UVB protection in one product, which which is great. You know, you want to make sure that your, your entire skin is covered. So you do see a very, very tiny purple hue to my skin. But trust me, in about five minutes, it's going to disappear. So is it black girl friendly? Absolutely. And I was really nervous about it because you know when you first put it on it's a little jarring because it's white and purple and you know it definitely does sink into the skin very nicely now the one thing i honestly don't like about it but it's not a deal breaker for me is that it does contain a little bit of fragrance um you can really smell it when you when you put it on it's almost like a perfumey aloe you know it does simmer down and you don't smell it throughout the day it, it's a dealer's choice when it comes to fragrance okay like i don't go actively looking for it but if it happens to have it i'm just like mm, okay but as long as it's not annoying we, we can rock with her like I, I have no problems with her coming to the party but as you can see, as it's dying down on my skin and really just absorbing, I don't have that cast. And that's what I'm looking for. Now, another thing that I was a little hesitant on is the sheen of this product. To me, this is more on that, you know, emollient moisturizing side. So I was really afraid of that reflective nature being on my skin because I am an oily girl, okay? I'm combo oily and I don't want anything to add to the shininess of my skin. And while this does add a good amount of shine to it, to me it's not overly done in a sense. It's like, okay, this is, this is a good level of sheen to my skin. So I end up wearing this particular SPF on its own. This has been my go-to for the past couple of weeks. And I've just been like, I love it because I, I just have a really natural appearance to my skin. Now, under makeup, it actually depends. If I'm wearing something very like glowy, like like this glowish uh, skin tint, mm -mm, 
I don't want to do it because my skin is just extra, extra glowy. But if I'm wearing like a matte foundation like the Tinty Doll or uh, what's a good matte foundation? My Fenty foundation, I, I can rock with it. I like a little bit of sheen to protrude through my matter foundations. So this actually ends up working out really, really well. But for my more glowy stuff, if I'm if I know I'm gonna put like a liquid highlighter or something under my foundation, no, I'm I'm not gonna grab for this. I'm gonna choose something a little bit on the matte side when it comes to SPF. It actually feels like a moisturizer. I'm not even gonna front. It it really does. It feels like a thicker one in my opinion, but it's still it's very moisturizing when it's on the skin and it's not like sticky I, I don't have any tack to my skin but honestly even though I do have combo oily skin I don't find that it makes my skin hella oily throughout the day now I don't know if it's because I've been actually back on my skincare routine but I don't find this to be oily, even though it's meant for someone with drier skin. Like, it, it's very interesting. I, I think it's because I've been really involved in my skincare, back into my skincare. Um, and yeah, I just find myself not being too shiny throughout the day. Like, I, I just like how radiant my skin looks, to be honest with you. It's just. That's real cute. She's giving real skin. Look at that. She's giving skin, okay? It's one of those tried and true products where it's always been on the market and I kind of just was like, eh, you know? But now that I have actually tried it out, I'm just like, oh, I get the hype behind here. Like, she's cool. She, she's she, she cool. This wears really, really lovely throughout the day, even with the reapplication throughout the day. It, it still is pretty good and I do like how compact the packaging is because it can fit into some of my smaller uh, purses. So I just, I, I'm, I'm just really surprised at this. I definitely wish they had a matte version of it. I think it would be phenomenal as well, but because of that aloe, it's kind of hydrating to the skin. I think that's why we haven't seen a matte one and I think if they did a matte version of this, It'll probably have a little bit more uh, dimethicone or something like that in this product. So I, I don't want to mess up a good formula, okay? So <laughs> SPF 50, that's the bare minimum I like to go for. And yeah, it's just very soothing to the skin. I kind of feel like it's almost like a moisturizer. I definitely probably, I, I actually didn't try that. I probably could substitute my moisturizer for this. I'm not that type of girl. I still love to put moisturizer on my skin prior to SPF. But I feel like if you do have dry skin, I think you'll be able to use this and skip out on the moisturizer in the morning. But overall, this was a really dope product. I'm happy that I finally was able to try it because now I know if I need SPF, I can, I can rock with this one and it doesn't leave a cast as a brown skin girl. That is really important to me because I don't wanna be out here in these streets looking Casper. I don't, I don't, I don't wanna look like Casper. So I hope you guys enjoyed this review. Check out some of my other videos and I will catch you in the next one. Stay comfy guys, bye.